growth milestones are key indicators of a child's neurodevelopmental progress and overall health, which typically develop in predictable patterns during infancy, childhood, and adolescence. They are grouped into five main domains. Gross motor, such as large muscle movements like sitting or walking. Fine motor, which includes hand-eye coordination, like grasping or drawing. Language, which includes comprehension and verbal expression. Cognitive or behavioural, which includes thinking, problem solving and attention. And the fifth is social or emotional, which includes interaction and emotional regulation. Growth milestones assess a child's ability to perform tasks expected at their age and tracking these milestones helps identify developmental delays or disorders early. Here are some key developmental milestones by age group. At two months, they should lift their head briefly when prone, open their hands and follow objects with their eyes. They should coo and be alert to voice, and cognitively they typically prefer their usual caregiver and they smile responsibly, known as the social smile. At four months, gross motor milestones include rolling front to back and sitting with support, while fine motor milestones include reaching for toys and bringing hands to mouth. In terms of language, they babble and turn to voice, and cognitively, they anticipate routines. Socially, they are soothed by their parents' voice, and they can laugh. At six months, gross motor milestones include rolling both ways, and sitting without support. Typically, this needs to occur before nine months. Fine motor includes transferring objects hand to hand, and language includes responding to name and making vowel sounds. Cognitively, they do look for dropped objects, and socially, they recognize familiar faces and express emotions. At nine months, they may crawl and pull themselves to stand. With fine motor development including the beginning of a pincer grasp, and they bang objects. In terms of language, they may say mama or dada indiscriminately and can wave bye bye. Cognitively, at this stage, object permanence can develop, which is when objects exist to them even when they're not currently sensed. They can also uncover toys at this stage. Socially, they have stranger anxiety and can play peekaboo. At 12 months, gross motor milestones include cruising or walking with help, and fine motor it is expected that there is a precise pincer grasp. In terms of language, they can say one or two words other than mama or dada, and they inhibit with no. They can also follow one-step commands with gesture. Cognitively, they imitate gestures, they engage in trial and error, and they use toys functionally for example, rolling a car. Socially, they can point at wanted items and can explore from a secure base. At 15 months, they can walk independently and they often stoop to pick up items. And in terms of fine motor skills, they can build two block towers and they tend to use spoons. Their language can involve four to six words and they now follow one step commands without a gesture and cognitively they can experiment with toys. Socially, they can imitate activities and show affection. At 18 months, gross motor features include running and climbing, for example, onto furniture, with fine motor skills including stacking four blocks and scribbling, with language typically featuring 10 to 25 words and being able to point to one to three body parts. Their cognitive milestones can include symbolic play, for example, give Teddy a drink, and socially, they can play simple pretend and start to have increasing independence. Gross motor milestones at the age of two include kicking a ball or walking up and down stairs with aid, and fine motor, they can stack six blocks, as well as copy a line. Their language now develops to include two to three word phrases and a 50 plus word vocabulary. They develop new problem solving strategies without rehearsal and their social development starts to feature tantrums and parallel play. Then at three, 
Their motor skills develop so that they may pedal a tricycle or jump forward, and their fine motor skills involves copying a circle or using a fork. At this stage, their language can include three to four word sentences, and they know their name and age. Cognitively, they can count to three, they can compare objects, and have simple time concepts. And their social development involves imaginative play, they can share without prompting, and they separate easily. Now at the preschool ages, at four years of age, they're expected to balance on one foot and hop, with fine motor skills involving copying shapes and using scissors, with their language skills featuring speaking in sentences, with 100% of the language being intelligible. Their cognitive skills have developed to count to four and identify four colours, and socially they now cooperate with their peers. At the age of five, their motor skills allow them now to skip and catch a ball, with fine motor skills involving drawing people and copying letters, and their language can feature 5,000 words with future tense and word play. They're now able to dress themselves, count to 10 accurately, and recite the alphabet, with development of pre-literacy and numeracy skills. Socially, they now understand rules and show empathy. There are so many milestones, but here's a rhymy memory tool that will help you remember the main gross motor milestones, with some others that are commonly examined thrown in as well. It's a bit silly, but does help with remembering the milestones. At two months, I smile. At four months, I babble a while. At six months, I sit and switch a toy. At nine months, I stand with joy. At 12 months, I stroll and say a word. At 15, I walk. How absurd. At 18 months, I run for fun. And at two, I climb and tantrums come. At three, I talk and trike with glee. At four, I hop and count to four. At five, I skip read, and so much more. The importance of developmental screening lies in early detection, allowing for early intervention, which improves long-term outcomes, particularly in neurodevelopmental disorders. Screening tools that can be utilised to screen for some of these milestones include the Ages and Stages questionnaires, the Denver Developmental Screening Test, and the Modified Checklist for autism in toddlers. Examples of red flags in development include no social smile by two months, with a differential of autism spectrum disorder, vision impairment, attachment disorders, and even severe developmental delay. A persistent head lag at four months could indicate cerebral palsy, global developmental delay, neuromuscular disorders like spinal muscular atrophy, or hypotonia, for example, Down syndrome. If they don't babble by six to nine months, this could indicate hearing impairment, ASD, or speech and language delay, as well as global developmental delay. And not sitting unsupported by nine months can be suggestive of, again, cerebral palsy, muscular dystrophy, global developmental delay, or even metabolic or genetic hypotonia. If there is no pincer grasp, by 12 months, this can suggest intellectual disability, fine motor delay, ASD, and neuromuscular disorders. Not walking by 18 months can indicate cerebral palsy, Duchenne's muscular dystrophy, developmental dysplasia of the hip, or global developmental delay. Lack of pretend or social play by three years can be a sign of ASD, intellectual disability, and neglect and loss of previously acquired skills at any age may be a manifestation of neurodegenerative disorders like Rett syndrome or leukodystrophies, ASD once again, epileptic encephalopathy, or even brain tumour or injury. Once a delay has been identified, the next steps involve taking a detailed history and physical exam, including prenatal, perinatal and family history. Physical exam can include looking at growth parameters like weight and head circumference, as well as looking for dysmorphic features such as craniofacial abnormalities, single palmar crease, or skin findings 
like café au lait spots. There may be signs of more systemic illness, such as hepatosplenomegaly, suggesting a metabolic disorder, or cardiac murmurs, which can result from genetic syndromes. There is also usually a referral for multidisciplinary evaluation. This could include audiology for hearing assessment, speech and language therapy, occupational therapy, especially for fine motor skills, paediatrics or neurology, as well as psychology. Further diagnostic investigations can include neuroimaging, such as an MRI of the brain, genetic testing and metabolic screening. 